Hey guys, welcome to Discovery with a K, episode number five. My name is Ilse. And I'm Pepping. Welcome back. Yay. So, yes. I'm excited because this week is going to be fire. We are going Ooh. to talk about Lee Jinna. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, now here's the fun part. She was born in 91. Okay, so... So she is like 28. Yes. Right? And she's so good. She's so good. How long has she been in the industry? She has been in the industry since 2014. Okay. Well, she started a bit late. Okay. I know, right? Yeah. But that's good for her. She has yes. like a real childhood. She, she lived. Exactly. She played in the park. She went through puberty <laughs> without worrying about anything. Yeah. So, no awkward interviews. <laughs> Mistakes off camera. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Lee Jenna, she yeah. was born in 91. Mm -hmm. She is a singer songwriter. Okay. And she is deadly on the piano okay like i showed you a little yes. clip of her she Whoa. is amazing oh my god she's got some skills i used to study piano yeah right, for like three years or something I, I even if i had been playing since i was like 10 i would have never gotten to that level for sure i'm 100 percent sure really yes there's no way well that there's requires no like I'm, I'm learning piano now and that requires a lot a lot of dedication to get to her level i mean you need to be training for a while like years yeah. like she's got amazing skills i mean you need to check it out like yeah i don't think i would have gotten there with like an hour a week classes i'm doing 45 <laughs> minutes a day and darling it's not worth it <laughs> oh well that's in the dreams past now yeah okay so Interesting story. She started off her career on K-pop Superstar. Like the, the, the reality? Yes. Okay. She was in season four. Okay. And the thing is, she came in third. Okay. Right? And that was the first year mm -hmm. that they let the two runner-ups sign with an agency as well. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. And it was the same season as Katie Kim. <gasps> Shook. Oh my god, oh my god. Shook. I know, right? Wow, yes. I know. Yes. So, okay. I'm very happy that she got signed. Like, for me, Of course, like, the one is to see that girl. Like, she's amazing. Exactly. So, that's why we're here today, giving you the good stuff. Yeah. All right, so after the real, like, the. The show, yeah. Yeah. She chose uh, Antenna Entertainment. Okay. And that was in 2014, and it's the same agency as Sam Kim oh. and Chai and uh, Kwon Jina, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Antenna Entertainment. Pure talent. You're doing yes. well. Keep it coming. Um, she's married. Yay! She's married. She's married. Late congratulations. They got married in March. This year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Da, 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 wow. Da, 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 da. Well, no, she wouldn't have played her own song. No, I mean, <laughs> like a little, a little to do, and then like walking down the aisle. So maybe while she was walking with a little piano. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Multitasking, getting like marching band. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> and her husband is a pianist as well, Aww. which is adorable. Those kids are gonna be talented. Oh yeah. They're gonna be so talented. They're gonna get like a little little a little, a little mini piano. Yeah. You know, yeah. All the all the little cards when the baby's born, it's gonna be like oh, music. piano keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's gonna be beautiful. And her husband's name is Shin Sung Jin. Okay. And they met while studying in the Seoul Institute of the Arts. That's adorable. And I, can you just like imagine a date with the two of them in just like a, a training room or practice room with like two pianos or like one piano and they're like Imagine that the way. you go on a date and <laughs> you're in the restaurant and the piano man is like there and then one of them is like I'm gonna play something for you Oh my oh. god! Yes! 
he like paid Beautiful. the pianist like could you step out for like five minutes let me just do my thing here i'm going to propose to this girl here well, well i want to have my first kiss tonight please <laughs> And then there's like a slow mo shot of the girl just like watching, and she's like, "Oh God." We watched the movie. Yeah. Like rom coms. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be hella romantic, though. I'm just beautiful. saying. Beautiful. Beautiful. I imagine it, and like everything is perfect. Yeah. Like either of them playing the like piano. Like the lighting. Or... There's like no zits or anything. Yeah. They're like well fed. And imagine like if they were. Like in a rooftop restaurant, <gasps> with, the moon. with like fairy lights. Yes, yay! Fairy lights. Fairy lights. We like them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's super cute! Oh my gosh. Okay, I can see it. I can like yeah, see it. And imagine one of them like the moon, like the light. Oof. Playing Oof. The oh, yes, oof. and you can like see the stars, and there's like a couple of clouds, but it's like not bad. And, and then, then the, the table is nice like, like oh. lay with a little candle. Oh, romantic. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> okay, 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 sure. You. So, she has a song called Run. Okay. Right? That was the one I showed you with Grey, the rapper. Yes. Slash producer. Yes. And. The song is amazing. It's funky. It's fun. You know. I like that she's got this jazz style. Like, exactly. Yes. And, and also she's like a mad piano yes. solo. And it's super suitable to her skill because she's amazing in the piano. So many have mm -hmm. this jazzy voice, and they've been able mm -hmm. to play the piano that way. It's just it complements. Like, it's so good. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Incredible. I love yeah, it. Yeah. But interesting story. That song is on Sexiest K Grooves on Spotify. Sixty-six. What? Sexiest. Like okay. sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K Grooves. That's a playlist on Spotify. How is that song there? Exactly. So I was thinking, like, maybe I'm missing something, you know? So I looked at the lyrics. Okay. That was a mistake. Okay. That's <laughs> really sad. <laughs> so I was like, maybe, you know, the lyrics are kind of like, mm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm, you know? Yeah. So. I was like, I need to look this up because okay. it's gonna be amazing, you know. But, oh my god, I'm shook. So, I have the translated lyrics for you. Are you ready? Is she like super sad again? <laughs> kind of. Oh god, okay. Okay, listen. okay. So, here it goes. You imagine this, right? You have a funky little piano going, you have like Grey's vocals, which is like, yeah, hell dope. And then you have like this little. Well, Wait, but in the setting is like colorful. I know. And the piano is like red, and she is like dressing. Like, and there's like glitters, and yeah. she's like holding a vase, a vase, whatever. At one point, so you wouldn't expect it to be sad. Sad. No, I wouldn't know. But listen to this, okay. right? The world is so scary. I have a lot of fears, so I only stay home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me, is anyone there? Someone hold my hand. It's all right. It's all right. With a smiling face and trembling words, I'm protecting myself. Oh my god. Someone tell me how this is on sexiest K Grooves on Spotify. Not just that, how come that music video is for those lyrics? It's so contradictory, right? Yes. I know. That's why I was like, shook. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Having a little mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just they like to see it, like not too sad. Maybe, maybe is it? I don't know. The bit, bit of happiness. Help me! Is. is anyone there? La di da di da. I mean, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> maybe she's not baking cookies. She's like trembling and protecting myself. I have a lot of fears. Well, she's behind the piano. You see, so. <laughs> well, trembling hands on the piano is not exactly a good thing. <laughs> it's bad. Um. So. The only conclusion I have is that the song is in there because of Grey, because... Because? It's I mean, he's hella hot. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean um, I'm just saying, like, he's like, whoa! Visuals. Young fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's in there. Should it be? Look. Don't look up the lyrics. Well, that's too late now. Don't think about it too much. 
It sounds yeah. funky, sounds fun. Yeah. I wouldn't exactly call it sexy, even if you But if like, you don't... think about it, in that particular playlist, there's songs that aren't exactly sexy and or any of Yeah, totally. So they should rename it or like do something about it. You know that I... Who does that? Is that the way? No, no, no. Th these guys, I actually watched a video this week about it. You joking? No, 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 no. <sighs> so these guys, that is actually a job, like a, a job position in Spotify. Spotify. Yay. Send me a job. <laughs> <laughs> so they are called Curated uh, Playlist. Curators? Yes. Curators. Yeah, curators. Yeah, exactly. I want to be a curator for a Spotify you playlist. Would totally, you would be perfect for that. Oh my god. Like, super good at it. Yeah, but you would have to live like in LA. I don't think they have a, a building. Am I complaining? Well, why would I live in LA for that? I can do that from home. True. No, but they have like the offices and I think everyone's got like a genre. Spotify. Yeah. Send me to LA. Like, <laughs> I don't mind. Get me a visa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's I mean, <laughs> that's a drastic change of that topic. sounds amazing. It is an amazing job, and these guys listen to music all day. Basically, what we do, but I'm we're already doing that. <laughs> yeah, I am like turning it. myself deaf, just you know, because I love it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a job. It is a job. And these guys listen to music all day and they create these playlists that are by Spotify. And that's when Sexuous uh, K Groups comes in. Who's, who's managing this one? I want to know. I want to know too. So, my, I mean, my theories are that your man doesn't speak Korean. Maybe. I quick Google, honey. That's, that's all yeah, I Yeah, but maybe they're, they're doing it by the rhythm of the song, maybe? I mean, I think it, you can't just look at the rhythm. I don't know. This is my theory. I mean, I mean, singularity, <laughs> you know, the, that yeah. should be on there because... <laughs> yeah, that. but the lyrics are also super sad. Okay. Sh well, it's probably on there. Is it? I, I have a feeling it's on there. You think so? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. If it's by the rhythm, it should. But it shouldn't only be rhythm. I mean, guys. You send a complaint to Spotify. It's like, look at yeah. Spotify, you're doing something wrong there. <laughs> send me a job offer. <laughs> <laughs> she can do it from home. She's totally fine. Exactly. She does it every day. She is I mean, amazing at it. I have like three K pop playlists. Well, Wait, four. she created a playlist for me. Yeah. So it's like, and every day it's like a new song. So it's like, you discover I actually added a couple today. I, I know. Was like, Fire. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Amazing. She's really good. She's really good. <laughs> the same. Yes, but let's get back to topic. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I was looking at her discography, right? And she has like three albums. Okay. And the first one came out in 2014. Mm -hmm. Like right after she got signed, like maybe a couple months later. Okay. And then she had another one in 2017 and another one in 2018. For me, I like her last one most. Okay. Because it's called Jenna Restaurant Full Course, which is uh, super yeah. cute. Um, but for me, I like the last one best because I feel like you can see her growth, both okay. in like confidence and like I think even like songwriting skills and stuff like that yeah. I feel like you can see that growth and it's cute it's really cute to see that no, and it's nice to see how an artist grows and you can see it like in their music exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Super so cool. I feel like the first album was still like like a shy young girl like, yeah you know I think the title is like invisible or something okay um it was super cute but I think her more her more interesting work is in her last one. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look that up because I really like the fact that she's jazzy and her voice complements mm -hmm. like her style mm -hmm. and those piano skills are incredible. Fire. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I think a couple of weeks ago I suddenly started texting you about not being able to find something. Yeah. Right? I discovered what it was. Okay. Through a whole bunch of superfluous research that I shouldn't have had to do, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. I found okay. it. Okay. Um, so she is part of a show called Soundgarden. 
Okay, and I remember that. Yes. yes. Um, and it, basically, it's her going to a place. For example, she went to a school. Okay. And she goes to like this little classroom, and you see her from like outside, all the way walking to the inside of that classroom, and you see her like pick up little sounds that she wants to use okay. in a new song. So every episode, she creates a new song. Oh wow! And she does it all there. Well, she probably some stuff happens after, but like most of it is done there. So she does it like. No, no with like, like a mic and some like snaps oh. and oh, that's like amazing. she writes lyrics as well. Yes, it's super cute. Yes, yes, yes. It's super interesting to see the entire process done by like yeah a professional. But it also sounds like very organic. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. She has wow. one about like cats, and it's like the cutest thing. Like with cats, but in yeah. <laughs> It's <laughs> what she, we she wrote a song about cats. Yeah, but this like meow meow like <laughs> she records that. I don't remember if she actually used the meow the meow meow in the song or not. Okay, but I recommend watching it. It's okay. called Sound Garden. Okay, go check it out. It's really cute. Okay, I'm and it's like what ten minutes or so. So it, okay, okay, I'm gonna watch that. Okay, yay, yo, L. Okay, so uh, before we started, I showed Kathleen a couple of songs yes. so she could, you know, get like a sense of the type of music. Yeah, but she does it very briefly, so it's like a few seconds of each song, and then you're like, okay, I need to catch a bit of her style, <laughs> I need to get bits and pieces here. Yeah. Okay, remember the one with like the group song? Yes, with, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. The song is called We Are, yeah. and it's basically a group of singers that are under Antenna Entertainment. Yeah. And we're talking Kwon Jinna, Sun Kim, Chai, Jung Sun Won, and Lee Jinna as well. And it's just super cute. It's the song is beautiful. so soft, and they're all so talented, and it's like... Their oh. voices. Oh my god, they're like... Talent. Yeah. Talent. I mean, if you don't know Sam Kim, just you need to what know. What are you doing him. with your life? Yeah, I mean, you need to know him. Everyone needs to know that guy and that voice. I should write an ode to the artist about him. That's gonna be fire. Oh, he's amazing. Like, I love him. Uh, his I last album him. was just <sighs> stunning. Yeah, but his voice and all oh, his eyes. I know. I know, I know. Thank you, we love you here. We love you! We love hearts. you. We love you. <laughs> Back to Lee Jenna. Yes. Um, okay, so the song, what is it called again? We Are? Yeah. yeah. It's basically about how they're all walking this road together okay. and how happy they are to have met each other. It's oh, like a friendship oh song. Yeah. Instead of friendship bracelets, friendship, friendship bracelets. <laughs> I really can't speak today. <laughs> <laughs> friendship bracelets. Yeah. They have a friendship song. Oh, that's adorable. Is there anything cuter than a little friendship song? That's adorable. And also, they're so talented. Also, who gave you permission to make me feel all these things? <laughs> Rude. 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 But oh, so cute. Adorable. So adorable. cute. And their voices, like... They blend together so, so well. So well. I know. I don't know how they chose, like, just the fact that every, everyone blends together so well, it's just like... Yeah, but, I mean, the agency probably knew that before this. Like, these people know their <laughs> stuff, they know, they know, hmm. it's an agency, they work for that. I mean, fair, but still, yeah, yeah. there is a little bit of magic in that, and it's just super cute. Adorable. I love that song, it's cute. I need to add it to my playlist. In which in which one, please? <laughs> <laughs> because I listen to your playlist. <laughs> Not in the no sad box of house. Thank you. Because it's... That's my work. It's not sad, but it kind of sounds sad. Yeah, but that's my workout playlist. I know. So it's like... I girl... should put in like a really sad song just as like an April Fool's joke. 
<laughs> I know. I think it's quite long by now, so... It's quite late as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't guarantee that you're gonna hear it on April Fool's. <laughs> um, so, no, we can do that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Alright, yeah. let's talk essential songs. Okay, okay. Ready for this. So, she has an SM Station song with Onu. Yes. From Shiny. Shiny, yeah. And it's called Starry Night. Okay. And the video is animated and it's beautiful and the whole thing is so soft. <laughs> oh, my Adorable. God. Remember how I said that I wanted Sharon to become tiny so I could put her in my pocket? Yeah. I need the same for Lee Jenna. How many people are you keeping in your pockets? I'm gonna have multiple pockets. Oh God. And I'm gonna, well, that sounds really creepy. Yeah, I'm gonna have I'm multiple like, people in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, girl. Serial killer alert. I mean, I don't think that's legal. Or they could okay. have like a little concert, you know? I could like take them out. So your pockets pocket. are gonna be like the genie lamp, like the genie lamp. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, it's called Ilse's Pocket. <laughs> that is so creepy. Weird and cute. Somehow it is cute. Somehow well. cute, but mostly weird. Yeah. Yeah, but it's fine. It's out of love, I guess. <laughs> and it is your love for the music. Let's call it that way. Yeah. Let's let's say that, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, you're safe. They could have like she's harmless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm innocent. Okay. Oh yeah, she's a total popular. <laughs> yeah. They could have like a little mini concert. I could find like a mini drum set and a mini I guitar like <laughs> and a mini piano <laughs> and they would form little bands. I imagine this little, what's the name of the small uh, toys? Like Legos? No, well ish, yeah, kind of like. Or like Barbies? Yeah, sort of thing. And you, you castle in the middle of the castle, it's like a concert hall, you put your people there. Yeah, and it's like, and she's the thing. With the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, girl, slavery. <laughs> I mean, play because I tell you to play. Please, I would say please. I'm a very <laughs> polite person. <laughs> I don't think right, it's okay. Let, let's stop yeah. this analogy yeah. for a yeah, second. Absolutely. Though it would be hella cute. I mean, just. She's harmless, I swear. She is super cute, and she won't keep anyone in the, po in the pocket. If someone invented something like that, that's not gonna happen. Go ahead, <laughs> let's continue. Next essential song <laughs> uh, is obviously Run featuring Grey. Yeah, even they, though it's like sad, sexy but it not sexy. sound sad, sexy not sexy, happy but not happy. It's a song that you don't know where to be. <laughs> let's call it groovy. It's kind of groovy. Yeah, yeah, but then the lyrics are like. It's a sad, groovy song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just awesome. Listen to it. Don't yeah. think too much about the sad stuff. Just watch it. Which is easier said than done now that I'm telling you now to think about it. <laughs> um, all right. The last essential song is Stairs. Yeah. Because... Is that that with the intro? That's the one with the piano <gasps> intro. Yes. Look up the live video, yeah, because you actually see her play the piano, and it's like Mozart, who, Beethoven, who, <laughs> who? I only know Ligina. She is amazing. She's Honestly, really, really good. It's just a treat to see someone that skilled at the piano, yeah, play the piano, and be able to sing and write your own songs and write your own lyrics. I mean, hello, talents. Yeah, she is incredible, and I can't believe I haven't heard from her like until now. Well, that's my job. Spotify, Spotify, <laughs> you need her. <laughs> Please. <laughs> joking or joking? Yeah. Kinda a little. <laughs> okay. um, <laughs> Please go check her out. Yes. She's amazing. Go follow her stuff. Go follow her Instagram because it's cute as well. Okay. Um, and she, when she announced that she got married, she stated that she would still be making music. 
Oh, she's not, she's not going to retire because she goes, Bravo! Yes. I am like, Woman, yes. we stand! Yes. Yes. yes! I mean, she already has a fan base, she has the skills. Yeah. Like, it would have been a little bit crazy. Yeah, but that that is incredible because many artists, sadly, when they get married, they just retire. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but why? What what would you why? be doing? I don't know. I mean, lots of things. The but... <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I mean, when you have a comedy, I guess. But if you have the talent, just exactly. don't waste it. Exactly. Just keep going. Yeah, yeah. So excited to see what she brings out in the future. Yes, because it's gonna be. Fire! <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, she is amazing and I love her voice. I I really need her to bring out something new. So that I can be like... You know, <laughs> you play a song until you hate it? Yeah. I want to have that feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. With her. Mm. <laughs> well, with her new stuff, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So, so, shall we go to our last segment? Right. Um, I think my phone is actually on the table. It's on the, do you remember the song, the last one you played? Because I do have mine here, actually. I... I, I, I... <gasps> ooh, yes, I'm gonna... Oh, uh, well... Ooh, ooh, I have it here somewhere. Just give me one sec, because these days... I have discovered so much music. Like my There's been my so feet. many new releases. <gasps> it's crazy. I know. Oh, oh I'm I'm loving it. I, I'm going to my spot right here. Yeah, uh, me too. Uh, <laughs> so my last song is Now or Never by Sifika. <gasps> wow, I love that song. And a third person that I can't see here. Woo. Woo, yeah. And it is fire. It is amazing. And I it's can't really cool. believe it's got so, like the views in YouTube are so low. And I'm like, what's wrong with you people? These people is incredible. So frustrating. Be on the lookout for Sifaka. Mm. Within our websites. Ooh. Just saying, like a little teaser, but yeah, <laughs> she's amazing. No, she's she actually amazing. She's incredible, yeah. She won, um, I think it was Artist of the Year or something. Um, Where? Hang on, I need to... See if can. Ha! The Korean Music Awards. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That was in, that was a couple of years ago, I think. Oh, 2018! Oh no, that was for her best dance song. I saw her somewhere else, I swear to God. Hmm. Okay, well, we know that she's already won an award. Yes. So. And she is incredible, girl. and you need to go and watch the video, now or never, it is incredible. Sorry. Now, let me just... Look at that, this is so long, is it? So, so long. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so the last song I added what is by Stella Jang and it's called Vanishing Paycheck. It's hilarious. I don't she, know. Oh my gosh. She, oh, she's very much in the, like, you know, she does a lot of OSTs. Oh, so I must know her then. I mean, you might. I can look up the... I mean, I watch a lot of dramas. So. Oh, I think she had one for The Secret Life of My Secretary. I didn't finish the drama. Spring turns to spring. My strange hero. Let's get something straight here. There is a lot of K-dramas released every year. I can't I watch up them the all. Star? No. 12 Nights? Maybe an old one? No? Uh, no, I don't know her. Investigation couple? No, no, I don't know her. I watch a lot of dramas, but not those dramas. Okay. Anyway, she must be amazing. She's lovely. Yeah, because... She's super cute. And... Her voice must be powerful, because one thing, interesting fact, is that every single OST, the singers have, like, an incredible and super, super high pitch. Mm-hmm. So but they can belt? They have, like, their tones. Like, they can do many things. They are incredible and they have like super wide range. Uh-huh. 
so they're incredible and every single one i've heard like there might be a few that aren't like that but all the ones mm-hmm. i know can do that yes skills anyways vanishing paycheck hilarious the video super cute she's mm-hmm. like she has like chopsticks at one point yeah and she's like you know, like string of pearls, you know, like long necklaces that look hella expensive. And yeah. she has them in a bowl and she's like using chopsticks. It's super cute. Cute. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's that. Well, I'm going to look her up as well. You need to, well, you probably know this song. I know that song. Of yeah. course you do. What I'm I mean? sorry. Spotify. It's Spotify. <laughs> anyway, so that was Discovery with a K for today. Uh-huh. And yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Yes, with more music. Of course. Oh, Whoa, artist. you're gonna love. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Some good things coming. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, guys. All so right. we'll see you next time. And okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.